Yeah, look, like I said, you know, you don't know when your time's up. At some stage, you've got to decide, you know, now's the time. And uh, if I don't do it now, I never will. Do you dream of going cruising on your own catamaran, but find it difficult to justify the time, the money, and the experience required to make it a reality? Well, don't die wondering. You might find the next video interesting as we unpack why charter boat ownership in Australia is a popular means to accelerate boat ownership. Have you ever imagined yourself at the helm of your own cruising catamaran, cruising through tropical islands, your family by your side, but in reality, you're stuck in traffic, working crazy long hours to pay off a mortgage that if you live long enough, you're outlive to maybe go and buy the boat of your dreams and go on sabbatical and go cruising. But how long will that take? And how old will you be when you get there? Charter boat ownership programs in Australia provide a great solution for people planning to eventually go cruising on their own boat but are still working and too busy to get the boat now. Chartering your boat out now allows you to generate income that pays for expenses such as mooring costs, insurance, slipping and anti-fouling, maintenance, engine servicing and detailing. Your boat is professionally managed for you, a service usually only afforded for super yacht owners, and is on standby for you and your family to take out cruising at least three to four weeks a year with unlimited standby. With the full support of the management company, you're able to start exploring one of the world's most beautiful cruising locations with 74 islands to explore around the Whitsundays inside the Great Barrier Reef. And as a boat owner, you can explore much further than a charterer can. Then after all of your operating expenses have been paid and the management company has also been paid, you're left with a net profit that can go towards repayments and interest. A good vessel will charter for around 25 weeks of the year uh, and it depends on what, uh, what we can get on average per night. But uh, yeah, Cumberland will take a 35% uh, commission for booking and organising um, the charters. The owner will traditionally get 65% of that and out of that they'll pay their insurance and their operating costs but uh, it'll be similar to you know, insurance on a boat that would be uh, in private use anyway so your expenses are not that great so then you get the benefit of the charter income uh, obviously you've got the depreciation that comes with owning a boat as well uh, and, and you know, any expenses on the boat are, uh, are taxable so yeah there are added advantages for, uh, you know, for owning the boat in, in charter as a, as a going concern. From the time that the owner purchases the boat from multi -hull, we will help them work towards getting that boat ready for charter. So the survey side of the business, getting the boat ready compliance wise, we'll look after the maintenance of it, the management of it. So the bookings, you know, making sure the clients, are, uh, the experience is checked, that the boat is um, checked each charter, that we dive the boat after each charter, the clean, all of the mechanical checks and tests, all the survey, all that sort of thing, the, um, the, the servicing of equipment, uh, the warranty side as well, we'll manage their warranty in the first few years. Uh, so really managing the whole boat. The owners don't need to worry about their asset at all. It's really peace of mind that it's, it's up in the Whitsundays, being looked after by somebody. And if anything major happens, then we will communicate with them and let them know what we're working towards or what we're working with multi-hull regarding. Uh, and yeah, it's generally looked after, peace of mind. They can just get on with their job or whatever they're doing and uh, enjoy the asset when they come to explore the Whitsundays. Now happens to be a great time to invest in Australia's tourism industry as the Australian dollar continues to lose value against the US dollar. So Australian tourism products such as Charters and the Whitsundays and Sydney Harbour become more competitive both to international tourists from the USA, Asia and Europe, while the Australian charters are also more likely to stay at home as foreign holidays become more expensive. You can now get direct flights to Australia that connect to the Whitsundays from San Francisco, LA, Dallas, London and various other locations through Europe and Asia. In fact, the charter company can have the boat fully provisioned and waiting for you as you get off the plane at Hamilton Island in the heart of the Whitsundays, or in Sydney Harbour if you prefer. We have owners from Australia, the USA and all around the world with charter boats operating, so it's a great way to explore the Great Barrier Reef and also a launch pad into the South Pacific Islands. Yeah, hi guys. Um Pete Harrison uh, just took 
delivery of um, my new C1260 called Pirate Pete. I'm a school teacher, 53 now. I grew up in the country, so I was I was away from the water, but always loved the water. Going uh, going on holidays to the beach, etc. Well, back uh, my, my first couple of years um, in the workforce, a group of us went up to the Whit Sundays and hired a, a big uh, 44 foot monohull and uh, sailed around for 10 days. We we flew a Jolly Roger and we had uh, had a bit of a pirate theme uh, happening there and had the best best holiday I've ever had. And uh, I kind of I guess it started there. So I was about 23 and. Uh, Thought, yeah, it wouldn't be fantastic to own your own uh, boat one day. We also, um, I took the family up to the Sundays about six years ago and uh, we, I knew nothing about boats or catamarans and we ended up on a, a Seawind 1160 uh, called Alchemist. Um, we had the best time uh, as a family uh, sailing around the, the beautiful Sundays, and uh, I guess, yeah, from that point onwards I, I, I started thinking, you know, one day I'd like to have my own boat. I went to a couple of boat shows. I looked at other boats, um, other brands. Um, I was impressed by the Seawind um, catamarans uh, after our experience in the Sundays six years ago on, on the 1160. Um, the 1260 had, uh, had just come out and um, it was just that much better. Um, 1160s are still great, but the 1260 has, uh, it's, it's big, bigger, roomier, more luxurious. Um, and uh, that's the kind of boat that uh, I, you know, I wanted to, to sail myself and, uh, and live on one day um, when, I'm, when I go cruising. It's expensive uh, living in Sydney, raising a family. Um, so a boat you know, is, is definitely a luxury. Um, uh, for someone on, uh, on an average income, it's, um, it's, you'd think it would be out of the question, but it's not. If you can get it in charter and, and basically it pays for itself, if you do it right. Um, we've got the boat in the Sundays in the peak season during winter and back down in Sydney for the peak season uh, of summer in, in Sydney. We also get to use the boat ourselves uh, for free uh, when it's not being chartered so um, that's, an, that's an added bonus. I, I could be dead in, in 10 years time so why wait, you know, get the boat now, teach myself how to sail and build up my expertise and experience and then uh, you know, hopefully before I turn 60 I'd like to um, sail around the world. So that's, that's the dream and uh, this is the start of the dream. First trip, so uh, picked up the boat in Brisbane, uh, got delivered from Vietnam. Had a great skipper with me, Brett Hodder from uh, Multi Hole Central, uh, uh, met us up there and, and uh, helped uh, myself and my brother who'd flown over from Ireland just for the, the two week trip. Yeah, we, so we sailed from Brisbane to the Whit Sundays. Only took five days. Did a couple of overnighters, um, but we uh, we stayed one night at um, uh, Lady Musgrave Island, which is about halfway, gorgeous uh, place. And uh, we, were, we were sitting there on on a mooring, and um, lo and behold, this boat comes in, and it happened to be um, Troy and Pascal from Free Range Sailing, who I had no idea who they were, but Brett knew them. Uh, he was a big fan. They got a uh, great big following on YouTube etc. They're sailing around Australia at the moment and you um, should check them out, free range sailing. So Brett's yelled out, hey Troy and Pascal and we're thinking who, who the hell are they, you know, must be friends of his. Uh, and um, so they went and moored up and we thought well let's invite them over for dinner so we jumped in the in the tender and went over and said would you like to have dinner with on Pirate Pete and uh, they said yeah why not. So. Um, we had a great, great night uh, exchanging sailing stories, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. So that was that was a highlight of the trip. We saw whales and dolphins. We caught, you know, mackerel. We, we had a great time sailing up there, and uh, and Brett was the best, uh, the best uh, teacher you could ask for. Um, good man, thanks, Brett. Yeah, look, like I said, you know, you don't know when your time's up. At some stage, you've got to decide. You know, now's the time, and uh, if I don't do it now, I never will. So if you're interested to learn more about charter boat ownership, either click the link up here or in the show notes below. And if you'd like to learn more about the Seawind 1260, follow the video over here and that'll take you through to a full test sale video. Hopefully we'll see you in the next episode.